Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the next installment of Top 5 Tuesdays. This is a collaboration I am doing with the Glam Dr. Mona Khan. Every Tuesday we pick a category and we figure out what our top five is in that particular category. So for this week, it is Fall Lips. So if you're interested in here, a bird just flew by. So if you're interested in hearing what my favorite fall lip products are, then just keep on watching. So let's jump right into my favorite fall lips. So this uh, top five video is a little bit different from uh, all the previous top five videos I've done. Every time Mona and I have picked a category, uh, you know, we decide what our sort of like all time favorite is for that particular category, like the face palettes that we just did, um, we did nude lips, and that was just really like all time favorite. For this particular video, I decided, well, what are my favorites for this particular season, since we're talking about fall lips, and I knew what I liked last fall would be different from this fall, so anyway, this is sort of like a current top five fall lips. So my first uh, pick for this fall is something from Syrah Beauty. This is a bit of a spoiler because I have an entire video dedicated to this product. So this is a brand new product from Syrah Beauty. This is the La Baton Rouge and I just absolutely love the color Diabolique. This is the color that I picked up at Sephora during the VIB sale. It is very much like his smoky eye batons but for your lips. So at one end you have a cream product and on the other end we've got a powder product on a sponge tip applicator. So the idea is you can use the cream product by itself um, or you can layer the cream product with the powder product to mattify it. It also makes it a bit longer lasting. So I just love the idea of this product. I like the versatility. You can use it as a cream. You can use it as a cream with the powder if you want a matte finish. It's super cool and this color is like the color that I feel like I've been searching for. It is just a rich dark brown. It doesn't lean especially red. It doesn't lean especially orange. It's sort of just right in the middle there. So it's very reminiscent for me you know, of those of those grunge years, the 90s, I was in college, and this was like the lip that everyone had to have. So next up we have a Pat McGrath, of course. This is one of the Lux Trans lipsticks, and this is an Attitude. Um, this is in combination with her lip pencil and ground control. This combo I really, really love. So ground control is very, very brown, very much like the Diabolique from Surratt, but the Attitude lipstick kind of gives it a little bit more red. So I love pairing these two. Here is Attitude. And I feel like I can give myself a nice ombre lip when I pair the ground control uh, lip liner there. So you'll see in my lip swatch that I like to put on the Attitude first and then I'll line my lips with the ground control. I'll kind of smear it together and it gives me like this dark to light effect from the outside to the inside of my lips. So next up I have a Boys and Girls lip color from Tom Ford. This is one of the ultra rich lip color finishes and this is in color Monica. This is definitely a more everyday uh, lip color. I don't need to use any lip liner with it. I just throw it on. It's easy to wear. It's um, very neutral so it goes with a lot of different eye looks. I just really really love it. The formula is absolutely gorgeous. So there's Monica. The ultra rich uh, finish of Tom Ford is just a very um, slightly glossy leaning cream finish. Just It's just such a beautiful beautiful finish. It gives your lips this really kind of juicy, healthy look to them without this like over the top gloss effect. So I just love this formula and I love this particular color for fall. It's the one that I've been reaching for the most lately. Next up I have one of these Lip Maestros from Giorgio Armani. These are not new products whatsoever but this is new to me. This is the shade 202 and when I swatched these, I was like, this is a very special formula. I was really, really taken by how comfortable the product is, yet how kind of velvety matte they are. And that's how they describe them. They have a velvety matte finish. And it's just, you know, it's this really wonderful, moussey, whoa. It's this really cool, moussey texture. It dries down to a matte. 
but it's so incredibly comfortable. I really shy away from liquid lipsticks because of that matte dry down effect that just really bothers my lips. Um, it, it preoccupies me because I can feel them. This is completely weightless, absolutely gorgeous. You can see how easily it just goes right onto the lips. Um, it's not transfer proof um, by any means, but it's just so, so comfortable. It's one of those lip products that I don't mind actually reapplying during the day. Usually I don't like reapplying a lot of lip product during the day because I just feel like it gets clumpier and clumpier and my lips get drier and drier. But this Lip Maestro, no problem whatsoever. Absolutely love these. I wish they would come out with more um, nude brown leaning colors. They have a lot of reds and pinks, which are absolutely beautiful. Just not something I kind of gravitate towards. But anyway, loving this one. And again, it's shade 202. So my last fall lippy is actually a concoction of three products, so I'm cheating a little bit, but it's what I have on my lips right now. It is a combination of two Pat McGrath Lux Trans lipsticks and a Surratt gloss. So I have been absolutely loving um, Donatella and Madame Grige together. So here is um, Donatella. This is like a very nude, cool color pink. There is Donatella. And I love layering Madame Grige right on top. And this color is like a gray leaning lilac. So by itself, it is a little bit uh, dramatic. It, <laughs> it makes me look a little bit corpse-like. I don't necessarily mind that look, which I know is weird, but um, to make it a little bit more wearable, I just mix it with this Donatella, which gives it a little bit more of a rosy hue. And then what I'll do is I will layer the Surratt gloss on top, which is um, in the color Ton, T-O-N. And in the bottle, it looks a little scary, but it's a gloss. So it just sort of, you can't really see it there too well. But what it does, it's almost like this kind of warms this up a little bit. And then this on top kind of cools the combination back down a little bit and then gives it the gloss. It's just a combo I've really come to love. I have noticed though that if I wear a blush that's a little bit too warm, what this lip color will do is make it look very orangey. I think you can probably see that in the camera. So what I like to do with this particular lip combo is pair it with a very cool toned blush and I've been loving this one from NARS. This is Impassioned. I believe this came out like two springs ago. Yeah, and it's a perfect pairing for this lip, but I put a different blush on today because all the other colors were a little bit warmer. So those are my top five favorite lip products for this particular season. These are the ones that I've been reaching for. They're pretty much just on rotation. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section. I will link down to the products in my description box as I always do. And please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.